It's a poker derivative game where ultimately your hand is going to be the best five cards of seven, which will include the five you're dealt initially, the two community cards. Initially, all you must do as a player is bet the ante to start the hand. The two bonus bets are optional. The bonus bet, it's all on the layout here for the players to read. You must have, with your best poker hand of the seven cards, a straighter better. As to the joker, there's one joker. It's a regular deck of 52 cards with one joker among them. That card, wherever it lands, if it's in your hand, you can use it as any card in the deck you wish. Okay. If it turns up in your five cards, in your hand, for instance, that player receives a four to one bonus on the joker bonus bet. If it should land as one of the community cards, every player who wagered on the joker bonus is paid 10 to 1. Cards are going to be dealt at 5 to each player. Then the dealer is dealt the 5. And there'll be the 5 immediately after the dealer's hand. The top two cards become the community cards used by everyone. After you've looked at your cards, keeping in mind, you're looking for the best poker hand, which will include uh, these two cards, best five of seven. Your choice here would be to play or to fold. Okay? So if you play and remain in the hand, you must double your ante here, prior to me turning the first community card. So once you've chosen to play, I turn one community card. Now uh, your, your choice at this point before I turn the, the second community card is bet or check. You have the option to either make a bet equal to, to your play bet, which is twice the ante, or you can just choose to check and lay your cards down and then would settle the hands. A dealer must have a pair of fives or better to qualify. Okay? Clearly I've qualified. So we're in and all bets stay live and you're competing against me on the hand. Let's just for argument's sake say that I did not qualify. All I had was the fours. The dealer would immediately push back your play and option wagers because upon having a non-qualifying dealer hand of less than a pair of fives, these immediately become a push. And what we do is clear the table of those wagers right away. It's a five dollar wager. It would be a hundred dollar payout on the bonus bet. The dealer would set that back. Now we'll address the uh, joker for the uh, Joker bonus, you have that in your hand. It's also spelled out clearly on the layout. It's among your five cards. It pays four to one. And now you're still competing with the dealer on this hand. The dealer did qualify. All bets remained live. Your four fives clearly beat the dealer's pair of nines be paid even money on the remaining wagers. Wow! Wonderful hand.